let us assume you have to obtain an annuity policy that will give you a guaranteed sum of rupees 10,000 per annum for the next three years. If the company pays its customers 12% per annum, how much do you have to put into the policy immediately so that you have nothing in the policy at the beginning of the third year? Now, in this particular question, even though they have said third year, even though you're going to get it over three years, reading it, you're going to understand that the first amount you're getting on the spot. That means when we are trying to find out the amount, that will support such a annuity payment. Okay, always remember annuity policy, getting future pensions, all of that is with the present value annuity calculation. The idea is that over a period of time you're saving money, perhaps depositing it in your pension scheme, over a period of time you're getting a return, you get a so-called future value, maybe 40 years down the line, and that is what you're investing to get a pension. So 40 years later, what you're putting in is the present value of those future cash flows. Okay, so our normal formula is PVAN, which is equal to P, open bracket, 1 minus 1 upon 1 plus R raised to the power of N, the whole thing divided by R. And this would be the formula we would use if we were not getting 10,000 in year zero as well. Because we're getting 10,000 in year zero, we are interested in calculating the present value for 10,000 that's going to be received for two years. Okay, so how is this going to work? The present value of the first cash flow, the one which you're going to get in year zero, in year zero, the present value of rupees 10,000 is going to be rupees, is going to be rupees 10,000. I'm more interested in the installments thereafter. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Present value of annuity is equal to 10,000, open bracket, 1 minus 1 upon 1 plus 12%. Okay, so I've done this before. 12% means 12 upon 100, which gives me 0 0.12. And since it's going to be 1 plus R, which is 1 plus 0 0.12, it just becomes 1.12. And that is what's going to happen here. Anyway, raised to the power of 2 upon 0 0.12 okay so simplifying this further it's going to be open bracket 1 minus 1 upon 1.12 raised to the power of 2 the whole thing upon 0 0.12 okay and again we can do this entire calculation directly in the calculator we start with what's in negative so 1 divided by 1.12 this will be to the power 1. I press equal to again, it is to the power 2. This will work on any simple calculator that is allowed. Plus minus. And now that this is negative, I add 1. It gives me this. Divided by 0 0.12. 0 0.12. Which gives me 1.69005. Okay, and remember, I have only written Okay, PVN is equal to 10,000 into all of this. So I should have written it here. I'm just going to write it here for now. This whole thing has to multiply by 10,000. 10,000. Okay, so now into 10,000, which gives me this number, 16,900.51. Okay, so I have 16,900.51. 0.51, but this is only for the two years. What about the original 10,000? The present value of that remains 10,000. Okay, so the total amount, the question that they have asked, how much do you have to put into the policy immediately so that you can get that return? 
it's going to be the present value of the future two years okay so the present value of an annuity which will result in 10,000 per year for two years which gives me this plus the 10,000 okay so the present value of annuity okay present value of annuity for two years okay two years and 12 percent gave us this but if I want the answer to the question above, it's going to be 16,900.51 plus 10,000, which gives me 26,900.51, which you can consider rounding up to the nearest rupee, so 26,901. Even 0.51 is fine. Either way, up to you. Thank you.